Greetings, welcome to my tutorial on how to dance. So dance can be broken down into four major components. Body, accent, rhythm and energy. And if you're bad at all four of those, then I suggest you to make a 3D model of yourself and use advanced computer algorithm to dance. <laughs> Now to make a 3D model of myself, I decided to use photogrammetry. For that, all you need is a good camera and a friend. We used an overcast day and set up tripods for me to rest my hands on to make a proper T pose. And then we took photos going around the subject. Keep in mind to take photos with even lighting and to wear light clothes so the computer has more detail to work with. After taking all the shots, process the photos in a photogrammetry software of your choice. We use Meshroom here because of its use of Alice Vision and mostly because it's free. Using Meshroom is simple, just drag and drop your photos. I divided my photos into categories so I can work in multiple nodes. In case any error occurs, I can just delete one of the nodes and start again from there. The process kept stopping at depth mapping and after countless tries to fix it, even so much as to try and decipher the Python code, I found out that it doesn't work without an NVIDIA GPU. I could have spared myself so much trouble if I just did a simple Google search. Ah, uh, I hate it. <laughs> Anyways, I got my friend to lend me his laptop and compute my final result there. In Meshroom Cast folder, just take the .obj file since it's all you need and open it in a 3D software of your choosing. I decided to go with Blender because, you know, it's free. <laughs> Simply cut out the excess bits and clean up the model. Uh, I'm no human anatomy expert but that thing's whack. So after you fix your imperfections using the sculpting tool, I wish you a life had one. You can get on to giving yourself actual skeleton. You know, so you can move. <laughs> yeah, and after all that hard work and time spent, you can just give up and use Mixamo. Load up your 3D OBZ file and choose a dance to your liking. And then load it back up on Blender. Add a floor, do some camera movement so people won't get bored, and then export. Load the images onto your video editor in image sequence and then slap on your favorite beat. And ta-da! Now you can finally show off your dance skills.